Tents, check. Food, check. And that's it. We're ready to go camping. How cool is it that I get to go camping with my favourite cousin? <laughs> Me? You're not his cousin, Lou. Let's roll out. I can lead the way. I memorise the directions. I'm surprised you even need directions. I would have thought you knew the way there by now. Huh? Where are we going? Here we are! Huh? Hey, what? We're camping here. At my house. Oh, no, no. We're not camping here. <sighs> For you. You are? We're going to the campsite near Fender Falls. What? I'm sorry, Ricky. I thought you knew. You buddies are too young to camp in the wilderness. Only the older bikes have had enough camping practice to come with me. So, our campsite is Ricky's yard? Yes. It's almost as much fun as a real campsite. Nah. Nah, it's not. Sorry, kids. Sorry, Ricky. I didn't know. I'll see you when we get back, OK? <sighs> Maybe we haven't had enough camping practice. But when they get back, we'll show them the best campsite ever. Let's camp and roll. Oh, hey, kids. Welcome to Steel Awesome's Guide to Wilderness Adventure. Stick with me and I'll make sure your camping trip is awesome. Steel Awesome. Whoa! Wow. <laughs> Step one, scout out your campsite for any sign of danger. Danger could be lurking anywhere. And it is up to you to know where. Did you hear that? Dangers! You can forget about lurking today. Steel Awesome is here. Okay, everybody scout for danger. Are you in danger? <laughs> I don't think so. The next thing you have to do is set up your tent to protect you from falling rain and space meteors. Now, setting up tents is hard and can take a lot of time for you. Whoa! Leave the tents to loop. I'm an expert. <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> nice, huh? <laughs> I think it might be upside down. <laughs> yeah! Isn't it great? I wonder how the older bikes are doing on their real camping trip. Uh, what? Come on! Watch the puddles! Wait! No, wait! This way! Come on! Steady on, boys! It's just a little further this way to the campsite. It's just a little further this way to the campsite. We're going west. Didn't you say the campsite was east? Oh. oh! Smell that wilderness air. Woohoo! Camping. The next thing you'll need on your wilderness adventure is a sauce of water. Look for a river or stream. Or, if you can't find those, you can dig a well with your giant laser. Easy. Steel Awesome says, see you, laser. <laughs> oh, we forgot to bring our giant laser. Don't worry. It may not be a laser, but they've got this. <laughs> Oh, 
looks there. Scutio, what do we do next? Hmm. Now you're off on your wilderness adventure. Mm -hmm. Throw some marshmallows over your roaring campfire. And make sure it looks cool reflected in your sunglasses. <laughs> awesome. Um, I don't think we can have a fire in the garden. Well, maybe we can't have a real fire, but I have an idea. This just isn't the same. Camping was supposed to be an adventure. Yeah. Oh, I, I know. know. But guys, this can still be an adventure too. Just look. We're lost in the wilderness, far from home. Not that far. Pretty far from home. With only our crackling fur to keep us warm. It's not crackling. Oh, whoops. Who knows what dangers and adventures we will face? Out here in the wilds, we have to be ready. Hi, kids! Ah! Will you four be okay on your own for a few minutes? We've had a call to go and help move a rock. <laughs> it doesn't seem nearly as much fun as your camping trip. Okay, now we're really on our own. Let's listen to the wilderness. Maxwell to Zooms. Come in, Zooms. <gasps> the wilderness sounds like Maxwell. It is Maxwell. Come in, Zooms. This is Maxwell. Road blocks. Can't get down. Stuck up here. They're stuck. We can help them. They went towards Fender Falls. Come on. Zoom out. There, they have to be around here somewhere. Stick together, boys. Maxwell. Maxwell. Did you hear that? The wind in the trees almost seems to be calling my name. It's us, Maxwell. We're down here. Little bikes. What are you doing here? Hey, guys. Hi. Are we in your garden? No. We came to help you. Well, we sure can't go that way. A tree fell and blocked the road. But this is the only way down. Hold on, I'm gonna try something. Ricky to the rescue! Speed check! Spoiler up! Visor on! Gadgets, go! Now you, Maxwell! 
I used to be zip line champion. <laughs> well, I guess I was younger then. Oh, I'm sliding. Oh, no. I was lighter then too. I need help. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but I'm going to feel it tomorrow. That was some amazing rescuing. So now what? We could keep going to the campsite or head back. It's up to you, kids. <laughs> Excellent campsite, bike buddies. Next time we go real camping, you four can definitely come with us. Or oh, we could just camp here. This is way more fun. <laughs> Not just fun, Dasha, adventure! <laughs> what is that thing? I've never seen anything like it. I bet it's from outer space. <gasps> yeah! Oh, please, please, please let me be from outer space. <laughs> no! It's my time capsule. <gasps> That's even better. It's from the future. No, a time capsule something you put things into. And then you bury it so nobody can open it for a long time. I've heard of those. A long time later, you dig it up and remember all the things you put in it. Bunker and I buried it when we were young bikes. Whoa! That was a long time ago. Well, yeah. Hey, you look exactly the same. <laughs> Why, well, thank Except way younger. Q. What else is in here, Maxwell? My trusty old fix. Everything with one tool, tool. Oh! It didn't work. Oh! And there's Officer Bunker's old whistle. <coughs> it's been underground a long time. Hey! I just had a great idea of my very own! We should bury a time capsule too. Kids, you can use my time capsule if you want. Hey! I just had the same great idea as Ricky. Let's go get things to put in it. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pouncy. Mm, perfect. <laughs> So, what are you kids putting into your time capsule? Wait, I want to record this. I'm putting in a trophy that I won in a stunt contest. I won it for doing this. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. I'm putting a wrench in the capsule. Because I love tools. Next. I'm putting in my rubber ball. I got it when I was little, but I'm too old for it now. I'm practically a rescue bike after all. I'm putting in this video so we can watch it when we're all grown up. That's it. Everything is in. So, where should we bury it? My parents are building a new parking lot. We could bury it there. Vroom! Good idea. The pavement will protect it. Parking lot. Great! Let's meet there later after lunch to bury it. Ah. Everybody's gone. I guess they're leaving it to loot. Ha! 
I didn't miss that ball at all. Nope, not one little bit. Times. Bouncy! Aww. Oh, Bouncy, I've got to get you back! <laughs> I need my ball back! I changed my mind. I'm putting in my old bike horn instead. Yes! That would be great in the capsule! I mean, if I hadn't already buried it. <gasps> you what? What? Okay, I'm completely sure I buried it right there. I remember those rocks. Wait, no, uh, I remember those rocks not being there. It's exactly right there. Wait, no, this is exactly where it isn't. Luke, we can't see it anywhere. Sorry, wait, uh, now I remember. Uh, I definitely put it near a piece of wood, next to a rock, directly under a fluffy cloud. Oh no, the cloud has gone. <sighs> Come on, let's just keep looking. Oh, over there. Where is it? There's no sign of it anywhere. Here we are, here we are. Make oh, way yeah. for oh, the yeah. rumblers. Yeah. Mum, Dad, what are you doing here? Paving day for the new parking lot. Always a day to build something. Now, as soon as we fetch the rest of our paving gear. Work waits for no bike. That's what I always say. <gasps> Scutio, the Zoom Cam can help us look. Zoom, Zoom Cam, Cam, go! Oh, this is not good. Oh, 
it's going to cause a flood. We need to plug the hole in that pipe. Okay. But with what? Bouncy. I'm sorry about this. Thanks, Vicky. It's what Bouncy would have wanted. Now let's get that time capsule buried again. Aha! Uh -huh. There's the perfect spot. Next to that patch of grass, beside these pebbles, and under the cloud that looks like a banana! Oh. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I'll miss you. We had a lot of good times. You know, since we're filling in holes, we might have a couple more to fill. <laughs> <laughs> Last one. We're finally done. Make way for the work crew. There's a job to do and we are here to do it. That's what I always say. You kids did a great job putting the lot straight again. Coming through! <laughs> hey, Ricky, I have a little surprise for you. Surprise? We were able to plug the hole in the pipe with something else. Huh? Bouncy! Thanks! <laughs> Is it laser ninjas? Laser monster sharks? That's the ultra mega beam from issue 87. It gives steel super strength. Wow! I wish I was that strong. TJ, you're the strongest bike I know. Oh, I don't know. Good morning, class. Hello. I'm afraid I have some bad news. Well, I'm sure you're all expecting to see the school float in today's Handlebar Day Hero Parade. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Fantastic! Well, the bad news is that the float had a small accident. <gasps> I don't know why they call it a float. Because that thing sank right to the bottom of the lake. Oh. 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 Anyway, even if we could build a new float, Maxwell wouldn't be able to pull it anymore. I sprained a spoke pulling the float out of the lake. Mrs Bikley, we can build a new float. DJ will pull it. What? No, I... You could use that old trailer in the park. It's pretty big and heavy, though. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. DJ is very strong. Do you think you could pull that, DJ? Huh? Uh, I'll try. Yeah! 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 <laughs> this is so much stuff. We can make an awesome float with this. Makes me sneeze. Remember, Mrs. Spikely said the parade starts when the school bell rings three times. Three times? Got it. Okay, buddies, this is for the Handlebar Day Hero Parade. It's all about heroes. So I think we should make a float about Steel Awesome! Who else? That's one bell. Let's get to work. Perfect. How's it going, 
DJ. Gotta pull everything down. Safety first. There. I don't even think it's that heavy. Maybe I can pull this thing. Hi, Mum and Dad. <laughs> what do you think of this, eh? The Ultra Super Beam Cannon. Wow. It looks like the real thing. We brought it for your float. Uh, is it heavy? Nah, not really. Uh-oh. And it really works! Oh, our little DJ pulling a real float in the parade. A real huge heavy float. That's my DJ. We'll see you at the parade. Yeah, see you later. Not so sure about this. I can't do it. <laughs> but you haven't even tried. I don't need to try. I'm not strong enough. I'm not strong at all. You are. You're DJ. You're the motor with the motor. Let's hear that vroom. Vroom. That's not of the room. Vroom. That's it. Guys. Who's the strongest bike around? DJ! 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 Here we go! <sighs> Come on, guys. Let's put our wheels into it. Strong enough? You are! You just have to keep trying. I'm just not strong enough. I can't do it. I just can't. Ultra Mega Beam doesn't really work like in the comic, does it? Uh... I'm just going to try one more time. No way! It does work like in the comic. It gave me super strength. But it's just a model. Shh. It doesn't matter as long as it's working. <laughs> Two bells. We've got to hurry, DJ. Let's get this float on the road. Mrs. Bikley, but the parade will have to start with or without the school float. They'll be here any minute. I know they will. Oh, it's all downhill from here. I knew you could do it, DJ. It's all because of the Ultra Mega Beam. That thing really works. <laughs> Time for the parade to begin, Mrs. Bikley! Oh. Oh, the parade is moving! We have to get down there! Fast! Vroom! Uh, 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 Ricky, it's getting faster! I don't know if I can stop it! We got you, DJ. Ricky to the rescue! Speed check! Spoiler up! Visor on! 
Gadget, go! Grappling hook, go! Super strength, DJ! I'm trying! We have to make it lighter! I've got it! Super strength! I told you! It's just a model! <sighs> Don't give up, DJ! We can't hold it much longer! But the Ultra Mega Beam isn't real! I don't have super strength! Yes, you do! Who pulled the float all the way here? You did! Even without a real Ultra Super Beam! That's right! I did! I did! Oh, I can do it! I can do it! He's doing it! CJ, you're doing it! I'm sorry, Mrs. Bankley. A schedule is a schedule. <gasps> Wait! There they are! Here. You did it, DJ! I knew you could do it! I'm sorry, kids, but you're too late. Rule 43 of the parade code states that no float shall join the parade once it has begun moving along the designated route. <laughs> you can't argue with a parade code! Aww. Oh, I'm so sorry, dears. You tried. Now, let's clear this street. No. Oh. I'll do it. Huh? You pulled that thing all this way. That's right, Officer Bunker. He did. Still awesome, eh? Is that the Ultra Super Beam from issue 87? Yep. <sighs> well, you know, the parade code is really more like guidelines than rules. Hurry up now! You can still catch up to the last float! Yes! You yeah! Everybody loves Steel Awesome! He's the best hero! I don't think Steel is the hero they're cheering for! Oh! There it is, kids! <laughs> I told you DJ would do it! DJ! 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 Well done, DJ! Strong and steady! That's my little bike! <laughs> <laughs>